Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nisa Esther Israel and I'm back with another video today. I want to speak on my experience and what I've seen in my dreams or in the spirit realm that I lit the Marine Kingdom on fire. Yes, it was a blaze, but no. Um, so I had a dream that I was on some type of um, landscape or in the forest kind of and I was surrounded by soldiers I was surrounded by angels and men of God and we were all in like some bubble because there were animals and creatures on the outside that wanted to attack us so we were all protected and surrounded but then um, I had opened one of the doors or somehow the glass opened and a creature pulled me out so it pulled me out and then dragged me into the forest and was you know just i was already hurt and everything so i was laying down on the bed just trying to heal and then there was this woman that was beside me and then she started to um touch herself and do certain things inappropriate things and then trying to get me to do some inappropriate things to my body and i like caught it in the dream and i was like oh no because i'm not doing anything with masturbation i'm not doing anything with having sex or anything especially doing that in a dream is going to pollute your anointing and also it's a spiritual attack so i woke up in the dream and in the dream i woke up and i was laying on the bed and i just started praying to god like vigorously and i'm like um holy spirit holy ghost fire you know um, on the marine kingdom, on the incubus and succubus, on all those who are attacking me, Father God, and I bleed the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all over me and, and those ones that I love. And I'm just like, I'm really just trying to, like, God, just, like, stop these. Can you help me stopping these attacks? And I was going in in this prayer. Like, this was a really good prayer, but I was still in a dream. I was lucid dreaming at that point. And, um... Then I had woke up and I had told my boyfriend and I was I didn't know that he uh, actually a portal was open in the room from when one of us might have been watching porn in the past or anything. Just seeing something sexual on your phone can open certain demonic portals. And so he doing that and then me having that dream, it was like the same type of um, atmosphere that I was in. So I, my spirit was sensitive to what was going on. And then later that day. Um, I went back to sleep and I was um, with these certain people who I thought was my family, but they weren't my family and they wanted me to eat. And it was revealed in the dream that it was um, human food that was in there, but I didn't eat it. I told them to eat it. So a lot of the times when we're being fed in the food, it's also poison and spiritual attack and, and it's not real food. So um, afterwards, we was driving in the car and they told me to go left and... Um, I was like, you know, I was confused of which way to go because we was driving. So we ended up turning left. We ended up getting in an accident in the car. They flew out and I fell on the floor. And then uh, they had there was some people that had to come and help us. So I was also revealed in the dream that I didn't want to go left. There was somebody, a, a monitoring spirit or familiar spirit that was in the car that was trying to uh, get me to choose the wrong way. And I ended up listening to what they said or the directions that they were given. And we ended up taking the wrong way. So it was a trapping of itself that I wasn't the one to eat the, the, the food that they was trying to poison me with. They ate it. So they ended up um, being stuck on high like they was falling off a balcony holding on to some some um a ladder but I ended up being on the floor so after I got some help and and we ended up getting a new car and I was like do I need to pay money for this car because it was a rental because the car had got an accident and it was like no it's okay um and then we was driving and they was like oh my god there's a fire over there I thought the houses was on fire I looked and it was like it was far away we was driving on the highway it was far away but God gave me like the 3d vision and it zoomed in and there were houses but they all had like, it was like really nice houses luxury houses but they all had pools and it was like four or five pools that was on fire and it was like a fire that could not be quenched. So I knew that was Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost fire on them um, for attacking me, you know, their punishment. And also the prayer, the heavy prayer that I was doing, give, given to God. So he heard me in that prayer and, you know, did exactly what I asked or was following through. And so also he's helped me zoom into the wall of the pool that was in the house and all the wall in the pools was mermaids. So I was like, oh my God. And I was just like, 
I woke up and I was so happy. I was like, so I just like um, counter attack because they attacked me first, trying to have me have a sexual dream, try to get me to go outside of my uh, pledge to um, celibacy right now and was trying to get me to do some things that is against God. But me saying my heavy spiritual warfare prayers and having a close connection to God and then the Holy Spirit I was able to counterattack and light them on fire. So I was like, the Marine Kingdom is on fire right now. And a lot of us who can pray against them can also set it on fire because water and fire are um, opposites. And also the uh, Satan's kingdom is the water kingdom, the Marine Kingdom. A lot of these water deities and spirits are possessing a lot of the children of God right now. But we are um, we have the Holy Spirit inside of us. We have that fire, that spirit of God, that flame inside of us that can counteract to attack back. So that was my uh, video today. Sweet light to the darkness and bow to the light.